just be not on fire. Just we are live. How you guys doing? Hello. Hello. We are back. Oh, the energy is something today. <laughs> it's electric. It's in the air. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. Oh wow. Yes. Are you okay? Same. You same. You good. Yeah. You yes. good, bro. <laughs> I, I work till midnight. It just happens. Uh, Three. I went to bed at eight p.m. I, yesterday. Wow. I was playing Apex. Good job. So. I'm well rested. Yeah. I <laughs> fell asleep in my kid's bed because I was so I tired. Horrible. So hey, sometimes they have way better mattresses. They, they. The, it's like every time I, my, because he's five, and so every so often after we read him a story, he's like, "Daddy, can you lay down with me for a little bit?" It's like, sure. Mm -hmm. Lay down for like half a minute, and then I wake up five hours later. And just, oh God, why did yeah. I do this? Every time. Child every time. Uh, child mattresses have like two forms of comfort and it's like, you know, cloud or jail mattress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the cloud. It's, you know, it's how we do. You know, this kid's going right. to get spoiled and he has a little sister coming. So she's going to get equally as spoiled. If no, not they get so. three squares and a cot. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give that little girl everything in the world and then tell my son to go mow the lawn. It's like the way, the way he's meant to be, you know? <laughs> well, guys, hey. we are back at uh, Nur, my homebrew, the d d the Lomare Games, where last we left the party, they, are, they were attempting to hastily find a cleric to bring back the body of uh, Resurrect Jago. However, knowing... And every step of the way, they, it was a race against time, which they unfortunately could not meet. But in their travels, they actually found the cleric, Roxa Bunnington, who was drifting unconscious in the ocean, right outside, r r not far from the land of giants, having just recently been thrown quite far into the, into the sea. Uh, By the bunslinger. The bunslinger. <laughs> the party regrouped. Attempted to go back to the keep to resurrect Jago, but they were too late. They decided to resupply at Father's Resolve and make their way back. And upon stopping back over at the keep, Kadruna, who's, a, who's said that she would take care of the body, revealed that the body was almost mummified as all the blood had been drained from it. Un not being able to really discern on the reason behind that as no one is um no one's uh has the knowledge of the inner workings of blood magic decide to venture forth to go to the land of giants to find the final resting place of hannibal one of the guardians who defeated our corte and a paladin for um before i forget the name of the god is also the god Shantea. of what should i say that again for me Shantea. Shantea goddess of agriculture she uh who apparently hannibal was one of her paladins the party reached the land of giants ready to venture into the cave and were already uh, set upon by jonah saga's older brother who's been missing for quite some time since haven't been seen since the since the ending of the games and apparently Magic he's been boy. conducting his own investigation and revealed that Damien is being preserved by Frollo <laughs> so he can become the new vessel for our Corte. Jonah witness showing off a lot more power than he's ever been able to display. Revealed to the party that he has struck a deal with the goddess Talona to give him power as you guys are about to enter the cave of the which should hold the ancient ruins of the first Lomer. And that's where we'll pick up. What would you like to do? I would like to interrogate my brother. <laughs> okay. Um. Jonah's just taking his time, getting all of his stuff ready. You see him um, checking on his crossbow. And uh, getting everything set up and ready, and he looks over at you. You're you're staring. Yeah, yeah, I I am, because you made a deal with Talona. I did. Don't confuse Alacorte with Talona, though. That's that's not 
he is he doesn't represent her he claims he does but Talona has been a very well practiced religion on Lomer for ever since Lomer okay, so for somebody who hasn't stepped foot in a <coughs> temple for 10 years you want to explain what's going on here well after the after the games and Damien being whisked away to the quarry after having, you know, supposedly had to deal with Dimitri, clearly there were other things going on. As all the... I decided to get a transfer in the library so I can get a few more of the documents passing through. So Dimitri was put on high priority. And then immediately afterwards, all shipments of marble and any type of prison transfers were canceled on the quarry side so it seems like they really wanted Dam Damien before they shut down which of course now we know was the civil war that they brought out and we know that Aztec was a part of it and Aztec runs the quarry so there was definitely a connection because Frollo <coughs> from the reports <coughs> he wouldn't care enough about some random tiefling teenager who ha like there's it's just too much work he could have just sent someone to kill him and instead he went through all this work to get him transferred so the investigation was afoot and but I didn't have the means so I got them. And my guess was Alicorte may be a, a former priest. But gods are... The, the motivation of a god is always random. So, I'm a, so, I took, so I took a best bet. And I started praying. To prove that I am a better representation of her religion. She answered. So I'm going to prove that Alicorte's a bastardization of her teachings by sealing him away again and saving my brother. Okay, so I like the seal Alicorte away and save our brother idea. We're on the same page. Have you thought about what comes after that? Like, are you trying to be like Talona's high priest or something? Is that what you want? No. I want my brother to be alive. I'm the big brother. <coughs> it's a good trade. And you needed help. Good. Good. Now we got that so taken you, care of. So you just want to put the demon in a jar? Seems like the best bet Our, is he's just... Cuba technique. It's just powerful. There's just... The Guardians destroyed his corporeal body. And even after all that, his spirit still causes a threat. I mean, that's what you guys have been dealing with. Was a spirit that has time to regain some of his power. So... I can't think of any other way than to knock him down a couple pegs before he reaches full power and then seal him away again. But this time, using way more magic than the hemoglobin. And yeah, if I can I, find I, enough residual, give it to a, a mage strong enough, my thought is Dimitri, we can seal him away again. I just hope it's for good. That's, you know, it's like, that's my worry is sealing and preserving instead of seeking a way to destroy, like, as much as I don't believe in destruction in that way, it seems like the only fit option mm. for someone of this caliber. I think putting someone away leaves option for what's going on now to happen again. And does that just make us part of some cycle? Well, 
that's a good point. And, you know, here's the thing. Do you think, the only way I can even imagine fully defeating Awakorte is to allow all of him to leave the Hemogoblin and then deal with him. That, you know, I don't know. I don't know if we have enough people to fight a fully powered Awakorte. I mean, then. I don't. Then maybe we can use the. But if there's a little bit left in him in the Hemoglobe, then we can just anchor him back. But we could try. I mean, your an our ancestor wasn't even enough. And he walked through you guys. Before your time. Uh, Roxa, I just met you. I, you, I read, you the, I read the report. I, I read the report that you were sent here. And I, my, I use my ears. I go, hold up. You guys were walked through? Pointing at all of you? I sneeze. <laughs> that will answer. Um, so our ancestor, my and Jonah's ancestor, um, was actually Sona, who was one of the companions of Hannibal, one of the, one of the guardians. Um, I know that we're here looking for Hannibal's tomb. Um, he's kind of alive again and also kind of being controlled by Alicorte. I mean, if we break the control... Would that person then be on our side? Yes. Presumably. Yes, I think so. He's been... He's chased us. He's been really hesitant to try to attack me. He's tried to run rather than hurting me. Now Alcorte keeps holding the threat of making him do that over both of our heads. I want to free him. It's on my very, very long list of things to do and just keeps getting bumped further down as people die or become warlocks or have tombs that need finding in this tomb though we'll find a relic of one of his companions you know so that should make it easier to try to break or dispel this in my opinion i don't know anything about magic can you explain how that works i just in my summation uh he knows who you are he knows your ancestry at this point if we can just keep bringing him things that remind him of, or them of who they were and they can become aware of the control, it can then break. I think that would work. I've asked someone, because out of character, I don't remember if I talked to Dimitri or Gabriel you, about this. You asked uh, <laughs> I think Dimitri. it was Gabriel. You've asked Dimitri about it. Um, and presumably if you're able to take away the link, so he, Dimitri said that we should look for something on his person that linked him to Alicorte, but also that it could be anything. And I haven't seen him again since, so I haven't been able to look closely. I know it's lame, and don't laugh at me, but next time we encounter him, instead of fighting him, we subdue him and strip him of everything. If you can hold him down. He's really hard to subdue. But yeah, yes. but I mean, like, because we were, because they were, fo you guys were focused on fighting him, you know. I think if we put our heads together and figure out a trap or something, maybe we can work that in and then team up, and maybe then we have enough power to destroy instead of preserve. Having a we need to guardian, know where he is for that. Having a former guardian on our side would definitely help out if we can get Dimitri. If Dimitri's there. Shaz is there. If Gabriel's there, if we can get Zul, that's a that's a powerful hit. And from what I've seen of you guys in the games, it's not like you're gonna get walked through again. Hmm. Well, Robsa, I appreciate your assessment of our skills, but. Unfortunately, we haven't had the best of luck when it comes to accomplishing any of our plans thus far. Well, now Hopefully, you got 
couple of rabbit feet. Yeah, hopefully a couple of lucky rabbit feet change the outcome. Perhaps meeting you is exactly what we need to change our course, but I don't know. I don't feel confident that we could even get Dimitri, Gabriel, or Zul to even listen to us at this point. We've failed enough times. We might be on our I'm own. Not, I'm not the one to talk to them at this point. I'm just not. I failed them too many times, and it's, I think, too personal in some way. Hmm. Not to mention my brother's now a wanted criminal. Both of my brothers are wanted criminals. That's, That's true. great. But I have an idea. That's true. This might be really stupid. This might be really out there. But if we're trying to, like, rally the forces and get everybody we can to come at this guy, can we send a message to Jago's tribe? They're all blood hunters like him. They all have a horse in this race. That It's their ancestral relic. It's their ancestor who was one of the guardians. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good idea. What's the name they of this tribe? They can send reinforcements. That's great. That's a good idea. What's the name of this tribe? I roll a history check to see if I remember because I out of character I don't remember. Roll a history check. Um, that is a sixteen plus zero. It's a sixteen. Sixteen. You distinctly remember he never mentioned the name of the tribe. Oh no, do you know anything about bugbear tribes? I do not. I my most of my and honestly the hemoglobin because its origins were foreign not a whole lot um tisona's journal even tisona didn't know a ton about um his friend uh zulu uh, he just knew he was going home to to get something and him and um uh, another one of the guardians stole the hemoglobin and then came back as far as the name of the tribe um, kind of, you know, he gave me a 150 year old journal, you know, <laughs> it, certain things were just gone from time. Um, I've done, I haven't been able to find any bugbear tribe. It's the reason why we barely see him. I think I've, I, honestly, Jago is the first bugbear I've seen in my, in my life. So, and I live in a tourist country, so not a whole lot of them walking around on this side of the continent, on the equator. So, did he mention anything about his home? I, I, out of character, I'm not remembering he any of this. Should I roll another history With that check? 16, you can remember. Yeah. He was very particular. He talked a lot. Not a whole lot about the his home. I mostly just know that his father killed his grandfather. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you know of, like, a legend or more about that, I don't know. Maybe that would help. I'm not one to talk about where he's from a whole well, lot. Well, I could... Here's the thing. I could try to see if I can... I mean, maybe something at the library, but now I'm wanted. You know, they don't they don't like it when you steal eight magic scrolls and guard documents. Yeah, no, Wait, they the, really don't. The library has magic scrolls? You can, like, give them back? Mm, I've used a lot of them. You know, <laughs> hopping from... There's a reason I was able to get to Gravel Town and then back in a surprisingly short amount of time. And those are very expensive. They're Dimitri's personal... They're kind of Dimitri's. But not a lot of places to store precious documents and magic scrolls are than the Library of Lemaire. That's valid. Okay, sure. Donut, if we survive this, I'm putting you out to sea before I fix things with Dimitri. If I can even fix things with Dimitri. Oh, no, that ship has sailed, honey. That, <laughs> that, there's, your your youngest brother was actively working for the drug lord. Your oldest brother <coughs> is, uh, has... He's a magic thief. Essentially. It may have knocked out a couple guards. But there there's a, you know, a couple breaking and enterings. And hmm. but anyway, I finally get property here so that I can stay to be with my family, and then you guys just become fugitives. That's fine. Let's just go find this goddamn tomb. Yep. Tomb. So now there's a lot of things that live in this tomb, in this cave, and also can we? Don't tell me we have to sneak. Yeah, I mean it. For at least when we, uh, for the most part, um, I would say 
after going down, I went down a little bit, and I did hear a lot of creepy crawlies, big creepy crawlies. It's the Island of Giants, so there's no tiny things out here. So let's try to be a little quiet. Gonna look at my armor. Try hmm. your best, because I don't want you hmm. out of that armor in case we are we we fell. So when you're ready, I have something for you. I mean, what do you like, think, guys? Holding, you holding for time? What do you have for us? I, uh, <laughs> you see, um, Jono walk up and he reaches to his pouch takes out an eyelash and puts a little bit of um, <coughs> some type of goo on top of it and then just slaps it on her face smears oh. it and like it's good for you don't worry don't worry about it and oh, as he gross. Uh, right before Excuse he uh, takes his hands shit. off he puts a little finger in your ear just to just to be a dick and then flicks you on the head and then you turn invisible asshole say invisibly <laughs> like all right i can and then he does and then for himself he just takes the eyelash gently touches it on him and then he turns invisible too that's how easy it was oh once you're ready to not be no. invisible just punch something i hit it with my axe instead yes that's that's also that also works Uh, so, Roxa, how good are you at uh, remaining unseen? I mean, I'm a giant rabbit with armor that can never be dirty. Mm. Do we have any cloth that we could drape this <laughs> rabbit in? To... You have it? Well, I, I imagine anything that sees us is probably going to try to eat us, so this is not so much on I that. Did. I'm sneaky enough. All right. Uh, I can get out of hairy situations. Uh, you just hear this groan. <laughs> the face palm. You hear the sound of a palm hitting a forehead from where you think She goes out invisible because she attacks her head. <laughs> <laughs> but God damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Powerful spell. That's great. Good lord. Well, let's move before these spells start to wear off. Alrighty. As you guys venture into the cave, you immediately are like, once you walk in, it's it's damp. It, the 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 terrain is kind of treacherous, very rocky, a lot of deep slopes, uh, pretty wide uh, entryways, uh, very high ceiling. Um, as you guys start venturing down um once you guys get past once you're walking around you start the the light starts going away and away and away until it's pitch black so who does not have dark vision uh i don't does anybody have dark vision my All right i was like i've no. never even seen that before jonah does as tieflings they Please. tieflings have dark vision so I do not believe I'm not I don't know do are Dragonborns granted dark vision? I don't think that's an ability that I'm gonna look it up for you real quick just yeah. to be safe. It's not on my thing. Creature and trait. I think all I get is acid breath and um the immunity to poison. I have a uh, it will be under racial like traits. So if you type if you tag the feature and traits in your D D beyond, you can scroll all the way down and Get all the way down Dang to racial it. traits, and it'll tell you if you have dark vision. I'm looking I at don't. it on my um. Yeah, I'm looking at it on uh. The, what is this thing called? I don't know if uh, rabbit can. I know humans don't. In deep beyond. I can't see shit. Dragonborn do not. Nope. And what about rabbit can? Walls. No, I don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you guys will be your perception will be at disadvantage. Um, anything you try to perceive with your sight. Um, at least, but you're a rabbit can, so. You got those ears. I also have like a plus seven in perception. I'm good. Yeah. You guys will be rolling at disadvantage. Um, and 
you guys are now coming around very kind of wet uh, terrain, wet and rocky. So you guys are on difficult terrain. So your your movement is halved as you guys are going down this cave. And as you guys are walking around, I just need you guys to give me some, uh, if you guys are moving stealthily, give me some stealth checks. Um, advantage for the people who are invisible. It's just a straight roll because she's got disadvantage from her yep, armor. So you're that's right. a 12. You're at disadvantage with, you're at regular. It's 12. Yep. All right. That sounds about right. The armor. Jonah got a 21. Invisible but clanky. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. You guys, you guys, here's one benefit. Um, all of you who are, you're not sure if you're following or leading, but you can hear the clanking of Saga's armor to give you guys a general direction of where you're going. Uh, nice. um, <laughs> can I cast a, I'm going to cast light on my mace. Okay. Alrighty, and let's give you an idea how 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 much light does uh how much. Uh, twenty foot radius. Oh, okay. So you guys and have light. Light for an additional twenty. Okay, so um you. And it just uh, it works as my mace is like a glow stick essentially. Yeah, and that gives you guys twenty feet of movement. So right now you're not at a disadvantage for twenty feet. You guys have a general. At least you guys can see those who you can see. This does affect your, uh, stealth, a little bit, but you can at least see where you're going. Um, I'd rather be able to see who's coming at me than not know. That is very good. And as you guys uh, continue on um, down the down the cave tunnel, it's um, it starts sloping downward just a little bit. But you, you guys come across one that the slope is a, is a very is a very drastic incline. Um, so as you guys walk Even down, I need you guys to make down. a dexterity saving throw just so you don't slide oh, no. down it. Oh no. Uh -oh. Saga sliding. Oh. Does my monk ability prevent me from sliding? The one that lets me. It's walk not so much a fall. I, it's not really a fall. So. You are going to have to make it. I got an 18, but I also. I'll be right back. Okay. I rolled a 19. 19? Good. This is a 3 for me. Oh, you're falling. Yeah. yeah. I'm falling too. Okay. I got a 6, even with my bonuses. Oh, oh, buddy. Oh, it's, it's it's not too bad. Oof. Can I okay, actually, you, you 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 whack your head on your way down. You take you both take um, oh, you both take four, bludgeoning damage. Just poof, you just slide. You not lose your footing, raging. and you're and you're just ass sliding on down the down the little makeshift ramp. Rocks just hitting you on the back, and then you just whack your head good. And you're like, Ugh. As you guys, see, gonna pull this up real quick. My apologies. Um, who is? I know Jonah's walking ahead, but uh, Saga's gonna be as close to him as she thinks she can be. Okay, and she, she can't see him. If you if making that, no, he he's hanging close to you. He can hear you. <laughs> As Thank. it were. Thank. All right. And as you guys are moving along, give me a uh, perception checks. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. It's a three. Oh man, but twenty. So as you're walking, going along, and as you guys are about. 30 minutes, an hour, taking your time, trying to be stealthy. You, Saga, and Jonah see that the little entrance just ends, and that there's this massive pit right in front of you that Connor does not see as he's walking. Can I grab him? Um, Saga and uh, Jonah notices it. What was your uh, what was your uh, perception, uh, Larkanus? It was eleven. Eleven, you don't notice it, but Saga, you do, and you stop and you see the. But you you look behind you, you see Connor just kind of walking. Just gonna throw an arm out so that he walks into it. Okay, and <laughs> you just feel this this hand on your chest, and you look down and you see that the the K is just goes 
into this deep pit. Um, 20 feet, still not enough to see the bottom. Um, give me a perception check, Saga, to see if you can see the bottom. 15. 15? You think you see some water? You can, you're, 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 more, you're listening out for it, and you hear like a little bit of running water all the way down. It, uh, but it's far. It's far, and you look along the sides. There does seem to be jagged edges that you could maybe climb down, but it's a far. It's a, it'll, it'll be a climb, and it's a deep fall. Uh, do we have to climb this? Do we have to go down here? Like, is there another way around? Uh, we can. There's another path. Um, if we double back. Um, Sorry about go, that. But I've heard a lot of other. I kind of didn't want to go that way because I heard. Um, I heard uh, some uh, some uh, hinky stuff around there. Um, but we can we can make our way back. It might be a we can try a different route or we can climb down the deep, dark, scary tunnel. I wish I knew how deep it was. I mean, Some rock down there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me a perception check as you throw the rock down. It's a fourteen. Fourteen. Hunter did a twenty, listening for the rock. 30. I'm going to uh, pick up I'll another rock. rock. Uh -huh. I mean, light is an at will cantrip. So can I just uh, cast light on this rock and toss it down there? Yes, you can. Mm. Look at you. And Ooh. so I'll give you guys can all get perception checks. You say with advantage, but you already got some high numbers. So you all see the, this rock glowing with 20 feet distance, and he flings it down. You all look over, and you see the rock fall 10 feet, 20 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet, 80, around 90 feet. It plops into a little bit of water, and then st you see it start going down a little stream out of your line of sight. So it's a 90-foot drop. You know, where I come from, they call this a Sullenberg, a forced water landing. Saga <laughs> does not laugh because she doesn't get the reference. She starts pulling rope out of her back instead. <laughs> uh, well, I've got rope, but we're going to need another rope. Anybody got more? Let me check. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dang, I didn't transfer all of Jago's stuff to me. Oh, you know what? Actually, Saga has silk rope as well as hemp and rope. So she's just going to tie her two ropes together and she can use that. Okay, so how much how much rope is that? 50. Okay. All righty. So... All right. Um, you can give a perception check or on where you can tie it to. Nineteen. Nineteen. You do see a fairly substantial sized boulder that's a little that you, on like a little bit away. It's about ten feet away behind you guys that you could potentially attempt to tie Ooh. a good knot around. Does anyone have like perhaps like a dagger or something that we can tie it around and then hammer it into the ground? Um. Does anybody maybe have pitons? That would be better, easier. Yeah. I don't, unfortunately. I, I don't, don't have that pack. I don't have anything. I mean, but you guys have, if you guys want to hammer something in, that's a massive, you can use your handle of your axe or your handle of your your blade. Or that large stick that guy's carrying. So. I can do it. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um, who's gonna um, who's gonna tie the knot? In in character, I'm thinking about just like jumping down there and like springing from wall to wall. <laughs> to make it Can't you fall infinitely? Uh, you like, got in, so, oh, let's see. You it, got slow fall and in character. Yeah. I'm right. thinking about doing bunny hops the same way because I can go an extra twelve feet. <laughs> and like me, me and him look at each other and like, but I can beat you down there. Oh, well, they're having that discussion. Hey, Connor, help tie this rope. <laughs> <laughs> but just that's <laughs> I might have to look up the restrictions of slow fall if you're gonna try some shit like that. Hey, Connor, while they're doing whatever this is, will you help me tie this rope? Yeah, I you, gotcha. you just hear this temporal <laughs> voice and a and a rope just kind of hanging in the middle of the air. It's like you're talking to a visible girl from My Hero. Just. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is a little unnerving, Saga. Sorry. It's okay. It's not better than not me. Not a ghost. Not a ghost. I'm very alive. So I'm gonna pull the rope around, and Saga, I think uh, your expertise in sailing might help you tie this a little better than me. I'm not sure what to do with this. Sure. Go ahead and give me, um, it'll be a sleight of hand. See how you can knot, if you're good at knotting and... Connor, you really might want to be the one to do this. I'll just help. You okay. guys, someone can do it and just get assistance, and so you can roll with advantage. Or you can both roll, and I'll take the average. I'll tie the knot since I can see my own hands. Okay. There you go. And that's a two. So. What's your dex modifier, and dude? That's a five with my modifier, uh, but okay. that's not very helpful right now. So with advantage, uh, 17. 17. You feel confident in the knot you have tied around the boulder. Yay. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I did my best, so here's hoping. Good to me. Did my best. Okay. All right. So who's going to start climbing down? Um... I'm the strongest. Would it make sense for me to go first in case anybody falls? Yes. Catch them. I mean, great. You can you can you see Saga? Because I can't see. I you can see great. Right now, okay. um, the only light you have as a source is um, your uh, Roxas mace that's lit up, so you can see around yourself. But for you, Connor, it will be like walking, climbing down into the dark abyss as the uh, rock that has floated away. Mm. So since you can see, Saga, maybe it'd be best for you to go ahead just in case so that way, uh, if anyone needs catching. I can do that. Also, Roxa, maybe you can like make something on Connor glow when he climbs down since he can't see. Um, What if I make the rope glow? Is there any stipulation on light as far as um, like how big it. the object has to be? Uh, I think it's a... Actually, yeah, it's there is. Let me see real quick. Let me touch no. on object I... no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. Okay, so you can get 10 so... feet of rope. Or I'm just going to... Um... What do you have on you, Connor? Well, I have my sword. I'm going to do an ocular pat down. <laughs> I've got... <laughs> I've got my uh, I've got my flame tongue rapier, which I can ignite to be able to see up to eighty feet. But I'm Ooh, afraid that that might free. be a little too bright. And I'm just going to um, I'm just going to cast a little too on... bright, a little too flamey, and a little too using one of your hands while you try to climb down a rope. Yeah. <laughs> With that not just, sword. Uh, you have like a. Uh, I'm just going to cast light on your belt, so it's just around you. Oh yeah! All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna start climbing down. You're gonna start climbing down. Okay, you're climbing. We'll we'll do it. There's about 90 feet, so we're gonna do it every 30. So All right. give me that uh, dex. Give me um, acrobatics or uh, athletics, whichever one. There we go. That's the one. Athletics. <laughs> that's 28. The one. 28. That's what I meant. Athletics. 20. Okay. 28. You're <laughs> nice, steady motion. Moving on down. Who's next? Uh, I'm going. Athletics. Good lord. <laughs> oh, natural 20. Let's go. Boom. Nice. Yes. Hell nice yeah. smooth motion. Jonah's gonna three. Jonah's gonna hop behind you. Uh -oh. me, uh -oh. No, that's not yours. That's left hand's yours. How hmm. Mm. Negative one. <laughs> oh, Okay, John. Hopefully, you got some falling spells. Good question. <laughs> you just... Didn't think I'd have to heal people already. Let's see. I just start prepping a couple of healing spells, just like, oh, son of a bitch. All right. So, Jonah <laughs> starts climbing down, but just can't get a good grip, and he nearly just starts <coughs> sliding down, and he's about to hit. Uh, 
uh, Connor, you feel this thunk of this invisible thunk that you weren't prepared for. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, (laughs) This situation just got so bad so fast. Okay, hold on. Um, you, you, j- let me, just let so me you can maintain your grip as this 150 pound guy just start just on top of you. Oh my God. No, it's worse. <laughs> I just I look at Lord Candice and I go, should we just do the jumping thing we were both thinking that I know you were thinking? <sighs> Maybe, because this does not look like a good plan. <laughs> so that's a 10 for my saving throw. And you start sliding down, sliding down. Oh, now, geez. oh my God, this silk rope—it's so hard to hold on to. <laughs> you're, it's just—it's just the, th- the you're trying to get your grasp, your grasp on it again. But you are going to hit um, Saga. Saga, give me that nice. dexterity saving throw to just—you feel the, you, you can get, you, you, you see it for a second. You see the it happening a little bit. So you got the DC is a little bit lower. Are we I sure really it's not a it. strength save to just stay put mm-hmm. on the rope? Mm, look at you trying to go for this is this is not a matter of strength, it's just a matter of you maintaining your grip as the hit happens right. and you're not shocked out of your grip. It's a grip 15. Check. You it's a grip. You, you grab it, you grab it, you're sliding a little bit. You have a nat- you're already you're naturally strong, so you have everyone's able to you you've provided enough of a delay. For everyone to get a wow. better grip again. Guys, get your shit together. And you just hear this. Sorry. Hunter's <laughs> <laughs> just imagining it. He's just in this tiefling sandwich, just wondering how he ended up in this situation. <laughs> Except they're both <laughs> invisible. They're yeah, both invisible. invisible you, you just have his, his butts on top of <laughs> Yeah, you just feel <laughs> some tiefling ass, like... <laughs> slowly get off of you and climb up a little bit so you can give you some space the horns the horns hit your oh, thigh you caught horns saga's horns the... stabbed right at your thigh did you take damage from that nah he's fine <laughs> oh, no. a little bit of stabbing stab damage yeah no problem saga let's go <laughs> all right um larcanus uh uh roxa what are we doing? Um, how wide is this berth? Right. Good question. Great question. Mm-hmm. It's about mm-hmm. uh, it's as far as the width of this massive like deep dish that you guys are in. Chasm. It's about twenty feet. Mm. So it's twenty mm. feet wide, circle circumference, and a ninety foot drop. If I have like a fifty feet of of like walking distance, I can like. So, is that a so for to slow my fall, like I can... so for slow fall, you immediately negate fifty damage no. of taking a fall. Mm-hmm. That means if you do that, I am going to roll damage. Yeah. If my roll exceeds fifty, that that excess is what you take. Yeah, yeah I understand. And as... you have a climb speed, right? Like you can do that weird walk on walls shit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to see if I can if I can do that right now. Let me see. Let me let me. Let I feel see. like if I can hop on top of the trees, you know, I can. Yeah, probably, yeah, you were, you but know, you were still running. Tiger, hidden dragon. I don't know how. Okay. Going down, along. Okay. A spiral edge. I'll, you can you can try. No, nah, no. Nah, you can nah, try. Nah, I, I am you. all up I for you I don't trust trying. you, DM. No, I no. Think you should do it. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh my god. It would, hey, hey, you know what? You, you know what, buddy? It would be cool. It would be cool. It would be so super cool. cool. And my so DM cool. saying that it would be cool? You're totally trying to goat me right now. I feel like <laughs> evil boyfriend number four on Scott Pilgrim. You're trying to goat me. Skate this. You're, t- you're totally trying to goat me right now and skating this real. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not fall into that. Okay, I've seen it happen already. No, I'll take the rope. Okay. <laughs> Give me acrobatics. I mean, uh, athletics. Athletics. Oh, wow. 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 What, I what just happened? A ten. ten. I have a seven. That's I have a plus seven, and I just rolled a three. <laughs> I have a You're ten. a monk. Why do you have a plus seven in athletics? <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, I should have, like, plus 12 at this point, but... I have a plus 12 at acrobatics. 
I have a minus Astro two bikes. in intimidation because I'm a fluffy <laughs> rat. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so Damn it. you um you slide down hmm. thirty feet. Luckily, you're not hitting anyone because you, you the down everyone's already, already at, the, at the next section. Give me one. Give me a deck save to see if you can catch yourself for that next chunk. Ooh, perfect. I just rolled a twenty-one. 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 You you lost your grip. You slide and you're about to hit where you think Jonah is, and you <sighs> grab. You're good. Okay. Uh, now Roxa, give me that. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Give me that athletics. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna rappel down. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen's enough. You guys just had to go over ten. That's all it was. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's just you guys just wow. started. You guys still you're fresh. You have all this energy. Mm -hmm. you, you're going, but, but apparently like some bad rolls can happen. Uh, sliding down to hell on the pole. Yep. You're just <laughs> your, your bunny feet just. Come in my hand. Come in my hand. <laughs> yes. Easy as pie cool. for you. Now for the second stretch. Give me those, uh, give me those checks. 29 from Saga, because that was a natty 20. God damn it. A, oh my god. You got a 12 from Connor. Just Which, enough. What are we rolling again? Just enough. Oh, wait. I, I need, <laughs> um, um, athletics? Athletics. athletics. Or acrobatics. This, is, this is athletics. As That's a 12. I wrote a 12. 12, 12. You guys yeah. are good. Got about 30. Now, down to the last 30 feet. One more time. All right. Ooh. 20. Okay. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Okay, that's fine. I, I rolled another 12. That's enough. I just do not like seeing... I don't like seeing single numbers on my die. <laughs> no one does. <laughs> what we got? You got a six from Connor. Okay. We got a 14. Okay, so Saga. Jonah and Connor failed. I'm going to give you. You can either Dex, get out, or Strength, hold on, and just try to see if you can. T that, the Strength will be a higher DC, though. Doing Strength. Okay. Uh, save or save. check? 28. 28. Damn, no. <laughs> you two really need to learn flying spells. <laughs> uh, uh, you get the poke again. Something. Same spot, Connor. Her horn just... <laughs> <laughs> We're good. I'm fine. Learn to fly. Uh, we wouldn't have this problem. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And... Where? That was at the was that the last go? Was that the last? That was the last and one. you guys all hit the water. The water's very low. It's not even, not even five feet. It's shoulder is um at at Saga's upper thigh, being the smallest one. Um, so well, again, we definitely couldn't have landed on this. That's for sure. That would be terrible. <laughs> not <laughs> no <laughs> broken ankles. So you guys are down there. You and as the second you guys hit that splash, you hear. <laughs> And this mass, and you just feel this rumbling, massive rumbling through the cave of something just moving further away. Um. Does, does anyone know what that was? Oh, that's why I'm saying run. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys are running? No. You guys are yeah, running. I guess. Okay, <laughs> give me um, uh, give me some uh, stealth checks with disadvantage. A uh, straight roll from the invisibility. Uh, you are now running, so you're making more noise. Than you, so you're back at you have negated the you have negated invisibility, and you're back to just being regular disadvantage. Went from a the... nineteen to a five in two seconds there. Yikes. I think the best outcome happened to me with a uh, disadvantage. They rolled the same thing twice, but <laughs> uh, so I have a ten. Ten, okay. <laughs> the eight rolled from a nineteen. Nineteen, okay. So 
Jonah and Larcanus still are keeping up with you guys, but they are making some semblance of moving with speed, but with uh, light. But you guys are making a lot of noise. You're hearing Saga's armor clank as uh, as you guys hit the different corners and um, and the splashing of the water. <laughs> And eventually the water gets lower and lower and lower until you guys are back on um, solid ground. But again, very damp, very very wet. And and you hear, does anybody speak giant? I do. <laughs> Finally, I can use this shit. <laughs> That's amazing. I got way too excited because I randomly chose to speak giant, and this whole time I'm like, I'm not seeing any fucking giants, man. I'm really sad. <laughs> There's is... a whole island of them for you. Dog, you spent like four weeks being like, no, nah, we don't need to go to the island of giants, and you could speak it the whole time. Oh, uh, I mean, I... anyway, yeah, I can speak yeah. it. <laughs> okay. As Larcanus. You hear? Hey, what was that? Shut up! Keep cooking. Don't tell me to shut up. I heard something. Then check. And you start hearing. You got a giant coming, guys. What are you doing? Apparently, he could. We're gonna look for somewhere to hide. Yeah, let's. I hide. don't see it. Same. Okay, give me those stealth checks. Stealth. Oh Where my is Jesus, is that really what I'm looking at? Fuck. Uh, a, a, a seven, please. Okay, <clears throat> 20. 20, okay. Uh, oh. Mr. Bunnington? Uh, wait, what are we rolling for? Stealth. Oh, okay. <laughs> no panic at all. Eight. Eight, you see this stone giant make this corner. More meat! And you hear another as a, a second stone giant stone comes around. And um, I need you guys to roll initiative. Can I, can, I, can I walk up to him and just be like, wait, sir, wait, wait. I speak the tongue of your people. Okay. Fee, fi, fo, fum. <laughs> Sir. Okay. All right. Um, we come in peace. We're just here. We're here. We're gonna come in. We're gonna leave right out. If you let us pass, all right. We, we promise not to disturb you. We will actually bring you meat if you want meat. Look, I have scales. Look at this. This is not eatable. I'm filled with acid. You'll die. Okay. I Look. um I I use thaumaturgy to turn my eyes red and I go, my meat's not good. <laughs> None of these people they, they don't have good meat. Look at them. This is a tiefling. Look at come on. Come on. They got horns. A lot of crazy. We don't we, you don't want this. I'm invisible, we're, we're... don't point at me. <laughs> oh. I don't exist. <laughs> Do not perceive. <laughs> I love that Connor perceive. was the only one who rolled good, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm actually not visible, and you're just like, hey, my friends. And I'm like... <laughs> I, I love everything you guys are trying to do. You go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Ooh, yay. Yeah. Arcanus. As he does not understand what the rest of you guys are saying, but... <laughs> I like the way that I I keep rolling terrible. I just rolled a six, so that's I'm Great. switching die. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna die. roll. <laughs> roll in the you just kind of say that now. Yeah, my I'm initiative gonna... was the. Hold on, ten. hold on. Before you my guys tell me your initiative rolls, give me a sec. <laughs> give me a sec. <laughs> I'm just getting this all set up. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, at least my initiative was a twenty-three. <laughs> nice. Keep those numbers in mind. God. So. I've got to turn on the AC. Go is, ahead. I'm still figuring out how things work in the just, new place. Be right before back. you go, just tell me what your initiative was. 15. Yes. With advantage, I rolled 14 twice, plus 1. 15. Okay. 
Larcanus right. was Roxa. A 20. I got a 17. 17. Larcanus? I went from I went yeah, from zero 23. initiative to a plus five, baby. Mm -hmm. nice. What was your initiative, uh, Larcanus? 23. 23. Very good. Connor? Uh, so, because I was in stealth, do I get advantage on my... Or am, I, was I outed by Larcanus? You're, you're, um, he hasn't noticed you. So you will be attacking from a position of stealth, but this is just when you would start fighting. Okay. So. Uh, ten. Ten. And that means you can get an attack of opportunity, or a, a sneak attack, right? You yeah. Yeah. attack of opportunity if he comes by you and not noticing you. And you can attack from a flank. Yeah, you're in the. You're pretty advantageous. Uh, Jonah did not uh, roll well. Are we fighting both of the giants, or just you one are of fighting the two stone giants? I like that. I just look like one of those freaky ass rabbits with red eyes now. <laughs> in a dark place. Seventeen. It's and triggering me. If we can get you guys over to row twenty. Oh, I'll roll twenty all day, baby. Here, baby. And let me move these flares around. <laughs> and we will get you guys. You're not on that boat anymore. Well. Stone giant. Them bad boys are big as fuck. Real. Oh my god, he's huge. That's a huge bit. Anyway. It's a huge bit. <laughs> Let me. <laughs> Shallow <how? laughs> And so the one who's come upon you guys. Me. Sorry, Usually just got I'm the only stone giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's hitting the corner. Alrighty. So let me get it. Like you guys now, as far as positioning goes, where were you guys? How how would you say you guys were? I know uh, in the order that you guys went down the rope. So hold on. A I'm cool with where I'm at. Oh, so that means that since I'm like one of the last people, he's gonna come to me past them. That's cool. Well, he heard you talk. Yeah, uh, so he, those become attacks of opportunity for everyone else. Exactly. I mean, that's if he decides to do that. Yeah. But <laughs> kind of banging on uh, Stone Giant doing certain things, aren't you? No. <laughs> let me. Oh, oh, let me. Oh, let me just. Is he dual wielding? Ah, uh, that's just the. Uh... All right. Don't worry okay, about that. Stone Giant is doing double dualies, and I'm just sitting here with a. Alrighty, so first on our initiative is Larcanus. What you doing? Oh my god, so he's he's definitely fighting. Oh yeah, he's he just after you said that he just was like, <sighs> and he's about to charge at you. You I'm, get a I'm sense sorry, that you did not the, persuade him. Was it the fee five fo pump? And I just um, let me see, let me see what I got. Oh, damn it, let's uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hit him. I'm gonna see if I can hit him. I'm gonna try to stun him. Just go with the stick. Okay, first, first uh, roll to hit. Hit him with the stick. Ooh, baby, that's a freaking damn. That's like a 26 to hit. That hits. Nah, uh, can I get a save for that stunning strike? I need to stop this man from moving. What's the um? So, what is it? Thir Thirteen. Thirteen. There and we go. Thirteen, and it's the um. What is a uh, con? It's a save. It's so a con save? Uh, it's a con save, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it, he rolled a 13. Is a 13. What was the... It's 13, so does he... He said he passes. He needs it, needs it. You bastard. All right, well, <laughs> let's roll for attack. You know what? Fuck that. Let's, where's my eight? Get in here. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, eight. I love you so much. I rolled a um, uh, seven for damage. Okay. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, no, that's wrong. I rolled a four for damage. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Powerful. Say it, say it, attack. Powerful. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you, you give him a, you give him a whack. You give him a good whack. And it just seems like it. <sighs> All right. I eat you first. That you hear perfectly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, totally understand that. Everybody else is just clueless to it. 
That's cool. A, se a second attack. All right. Go for it. Oh my god, that's a that's a ten to hit. That does that you hit him, but it just kind of bounces right off of his uh of his thick skin. Uh, bonus action, Phuket Thailand. I don't know how hard this guy hits. Um, <laughs> damn it. Assume it's hard. I know. I'm gonna go ahead and patient defense right now because I don't know how hard he hits. Oh, sure. <laughs> see. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. <laughs> that brings it over to Roxa. <laughs> Give me a second first time using this. Music. Yeah, let's see what uh let's see what our cleric can do. Cool. Cool. Oh my god, people who can use spells in combat? I know, right? How are you? <clears throat> um All right, I'm going to cast spiritual weapon. Sweet. And um I'm just going to like go like this and you're going to just see like a corporeal like uh just uh, like a giant hammer just like shoot out that has like Shantae's symbol on it hmm. and it's sort of just gonna go for the giant's chest all righty topple him down sweet go ahead and shoot it like a cannon you go ahead <laughs> all right <clears throat> i know spiritual weapon is like a serious spell but i can't help but see like cartoon weapons every time somebody uses it in my head <laughs> no it's honestly like, yeah. um, like the green you've gone full bugs bunny to me right now <laughs> I'm very Roger Rabbit in this moment, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, patty cake! Um, <laughs> I just watched that movie like a week ago. <laughs> what a wonderful movie! Uh, so that's gonna be a supernatural twenty. Nice, that hits. <laughs> Out the gate, baby. And let's see, that will do. Fourteen damage. Force damage. Nice, 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 nice. I like it. Fourteen force damage. <coughs> the the spiritual weapon wells right into the the Goli the the stone giant's chest. He it he pulls back a little bit. <clears throat> Fleas bite. All right, and then um, so that was my bonus action. So for my action, um, let me look at who's close to me. Um, all of you, of course. Uh, yeah, um, you have movement. So uh, I'm gonna uh, move up to uh, Saga. Oh no, she's invisible. I'm gonna move up to Connor, and uh, just give him guidance. So you can add a D4 to your next uh, ability roll. Thanks. That just reminded me, I gotta make sure you guys can control your characters. <coughs> and I'll go, go get him, Tiger. <laughs> uh, let's see, Sean. Talking about Spider Man earlier? <laughs> there you know, they say that a hero will save us. And I'm not gonna stand <laughs> here and wait, alright? So we're just gonna move, because presumably you just hit him. So, Larkanus, you're up on him. Um, and you're where you, and you said you went and gave Connor. Yeah, so I'm gonna slide up to Connor and go go get him, Tiger, as the hammer hits uh, the stone boy in the face. Nice. Stone boy in the face. Alrighty. That bring that that does it for your turn. Yeah. Okay. It is now the stone giant's turn, and oh. he is going to take his great club. And try to just smash down on uh, Larcanus. At disadvantage. Disadvantage from face defense. Ooh, rolled mm -hmm. very poorly on that one. So that's um, that's eleven to hit. Disadvantage, yeah. dat advantage. You know. Too too bad his homie ain't near him because then I would just <laughs> use tipsy sway. Ooh, that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool narratively. Like a giant, yeah, like. Like I, I, I hit him into like, like a force weapon, and then it's like, whoa. Right? Oh my god. And we'll for his. So he, he, go, he s tries to s just swing directly down on you with the great club, and you just kind of move right off to the side, and narrowly missing you by a hair. 
but he's gonna try to swing it at you again. Did somebody call me? Then that's a um, again that's a horrible roll. Thirteen to hit. Beautiful. And he uh, swings 15. again and hits nothing but air, and you just kind of backflip over the club as it. And that does it here. You guys think you can't defeat Awa Corte? Come on, guys. He's flipping. <laughs> He's flipping. <laughs> He's flipping. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> He's flipping. But now it is time for our second stone giant who's going to come around the corner. And he is going to. Grab a stone and hurl it at, um, let's see, he wouldn't see Jonah. He doesn't see Saga. He sees Connor. So. Sorry, buddy. He is good. stealth, but whatever. Oh, yeah, you did. No, so he sees the bunny. He sees the bunny because you did roll great on stealth and you haven't done anything yet. You are correct. Thank you for telling me. So, Rox is getting the hit. I only roll good three times a session. I have to. <laughs> the call is ride that one good roll. Yeah, I got it. I would take this the one all away. three rows ago. I this 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 this, tw- this dirty twenty is gonna last me till two p.m. <laughs> well, you haven't I, done I, anything I, yet. You're still in your hiding spot. Um, but I just go, Connor. I got this. Hey, pea brain. <laughs> he grabs this massive stone rock and he just <laughs> hurls it at you. That's a uh, um. Oof. That's a 22 to hit. Oh, my God. Oh, that hits. Don't I rolled really bad when I was hitting you. I rolled, like, ones and twos when I was hitting you. He has a plus nine to hit. Damn. Damn. You know who else has a plus nine to hit? Saga. <laughs> raging barbarian. Who hits yes. as hard as a giant. With a, a oil of sharpness. Oh, no, we're not using that till we... No, we're, we're saving that for the it. guns. We'll probably uh, die. <laughs> He's Ooh. made of stone. Hit me with 18. that damage, Daddy. 18. <laughs> Hit me with that Ooh. Daddy. Uh, 18, 24. You take, um. Okay. Uh, you take, let's see. Blizzard, uh, the target is a creature. Uh, I need you to make a, a strength saving throw. Damn, I wish it was Dex. Never wish it was Dex. Not me. 17. 17. Mm. Okay, so you take 24 bludgeoning damage as a rock hits you flush. And 17, you just barely missed it. You're a knock prone. prone So you just see this massive boulder slam into your cleric, and the cleric falls back and on the ground. I go, I'm okay. Are you, though? Right. <laughs> been 24. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And that will do it for uh, the Stone Giant's I'm turn. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> it is now Saga's turn. You're right. Mark on Invincible right now. <laughs> Time for the tank to tank, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um... Bless you. I'm Eugene from Hey Arnold. Sorry, Bless I didn't you. hit the mute button quick enough. <laughs> um... uh... <laughs> All right, I'm going to... You do advantage for flanking, Eric. I forgot. Yes, yes, and you're invisible, so you you'll have. True. He does not see I you. Have advantage. Double nice. advantage. Um, I guess. How dumb do I want to be? I wake up every morning and ask myself the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's gonna while she's while she's invisible, she's gonna sneak around back. Nice. That one. Um, and she's gonna attack him from the from behind. I'm gonna rage first. There so you I need go. Next save from him. That is uh <laughs> just the rat in the <laughs> That's a ten. So he does not succeed. He's gonna take ten points of lightning damage right off the bat. If he's not immune. He is remember. not. Right. And then we're gonna hit him with the axe. Hit him with that axe. Twenty? Twenty hits. Excellent. And then second attack, uh probably not gonna hit twelve. Twelve does not hit. All right, uh, let's roll some damage. Wow, that's a low damage roll. I do not like that. 
Um, seven points of slashing damage. As the lightning course up his foot all the way up to his face. <laughs> From the back, as he didn't see it coming, you slash at his ankles. Um, it's his, his skin is so thick and just tough that you kind of scrape along it. You still do some damage. And, but now you are, as you were doing the lightning, you're, fi- you're, you appear. You are no I longer. Appear, and I just look up and I go, pick on someone your own size. Good quack it, do You don't understand it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And, um, does that do it for your turn? Or do you have another attack? That's my turn. That's your turn. Connor, you are up. Okie dokie. All right, so I would like to uh, make my way to the same giant that Saga is attacking. Okay. Uh, I would also like to flank him uh, and aiming for the same ankle. Uh, I'm going to go for my Fling Tongue Rapier. I'm going to... Can roll that second attack with advantage. Oh, get in there. Can I can I just roll one more time for that attack? I'm so sorry. Sure. <laughs> See if you can get that natty twenty. <laughs> the DM says sure. If it's a natty uh, twenty. Boys. Sixteen. Sixteen. Doesn't hit. Oh. It's not your job. Okay, sorry about that. That's not my job. Sorry. I forgot to mute before yelling at the dogs. It's cool. Oh, I was like missing with an attack right that should have happened five minutes ago anyway. <laughs> I just had to stop so, everything I was doing to take a photo of mine because she's asleep. Oh. <laughs> um, is up. This is her favorite spot in the new apartment. Nice. <laughs> Go ahead and... Uh, you should turn it oh. into a little archery post. I'm sorry. Actually, let me... Um... No, yeah. All right, we're good. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my way over. I'm going to slash at the ankles uh, after igniting my sword. Okay. The whole, you the, as you ignite your sword, it just makes the entire cave come to light. And Saga and Connor, you see off to your side as a pile of dead bodies, half eaten, half um, a big pot boiling with hands kind of sticking out of it and everything. Uh, seems like you caught them at dinner. So I'm going to aim for the same ankle as Saga, mm-hmm. and I'm going to just fucking start slugging for the benches here. Natural 20. For Natural 20. Attack. There you go. Someone showed up. Go ahead. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right. So first. Remember, you got guidance. So uh, you can add that D4 to the damage or to any roll that you want. Oh, okay. I thought it was like an ability roll. So I'm going to add that D4 to the damage. Go for it. So that's going to be... Uh, Four so far. This is going to be a lot of stuff happening, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. So um, I'm going to roll my D8. Oh, you're right. No, the D4 is only for ability ability checks. checks. So okay, no, no yeah, on damage. Fine. Sorry about that. Okay. No, it's okay. It doesn't need to be a thing. Um, I'm probably going to need to dodge some stuff soon. So um, is this a D8? No, this is not a D8. Two pyramids. Oh. Well, there he is. <clears throat> so that's an eight. Oh, sick. Nice. Uh, plus five. So that's uh, 13. Nice. Can I do math? I don't know where the uh, the thing comes in. Oh, so the Wherever you rolled an eight and you got a natural 20, so that takes it to a 16. So it's 16 plus five. So plus 21. That's piercing damage, uh-huh. which I think matters in this instance. Yes, it does. Uh, that's 21 piercing, and then that's going to be 2d6 fire damage, which I think is going to also matter because it's in the wrong direction. That's 3 uh, fire damage. You see the, the flames kick at his ankles, and he's now deeply he's burned. He's been electrocuted. You start seeing blood start flowing from the back of his uh, ankle, and he's starting to... You guys are getting a, some good hits on him. 
Okay. Um, I'm also going to use a superiority die to add uh, a d8 to my damage. I can do that, right? Hmm. Where is it? Fighting style, combat. <clears throat> so use one of these. This is going to be the lunging attack. Yeah, so I add one superiority die to the damage roll, so it's another d8. And that's another one damage. Wild. Nice, 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 nice. <clears throat> And then I will take my second attack. Go for it. And that is a 16 plus 7, so that's 20 something. Yep, that hits. Yeah, hit. uh, and then we'll do a d8 plus 5 piercing. That's 7 plus 5, that's 12. Okay. Piercing. Look at y'all. Hitting every time. I spit up blood and I go, you guys are great. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> Six fire. All righty. My and armor's never eight. dirty. And then eight. <laughs> eight additional. Six fire. <laughs> and eight additional. You guys are starting to put some chinks in the... In the uh, giant's armor, he's starting. He, like as that last strike in, he like he drops to one in knee. <sighs> Have to <sighs> gets back up. He's starting to feel it. No, no, stay down here. I said pick on someone your own size. Nice. <sighs> and Larkane, as you hear, uh, stomp their flesh, eat their bones, rip off their head. He said, he said, stomp their flesh. Wait, what? Said <laughs> eat their bones, rip off their head. Their bones, eat their bones and rip off their... Yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, he seems mad still. Uh, Just punch him! Don't translate punch! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it my turn to punch? No. Let's go. <laughs> Not yet. Almost, almost there. We got you there, buddy. You're getting there. <laughs> got a plan for this guy. Okay, uh, Connor is done with his turn uh, for now. All righty. Which brings it to oh, Jonah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're good. Which brings it over to Jonah. Jonah. Jonah was here. From invisibility. <laughs> from a, from a... I'm invisible. Oh, in, in character, I actually forgot Jonah was here. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I go to attack, and then Jonah attacks. And I'm like, wait, so, what the... F so, oh, you're... that's right. It's right. like, okay. You're like, all right, this is my moment to shine. And yeah. Jonah... <laughs> Whoops. See, like, right. magic come out of nowhere. Sorry. I'm like trying to pop my shoulder back into place, and I'm like, huh. Let's see. <laughs> They'll never defeat the champions of Father's Resolve. <laughs> you need to be more careful. I'm really low on healing potions. As, look, as you hear Roxas lament, and Larkanus just trying to size up the giant, just out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, this green uh, swirling energy, very similar to what you saw coming from Old Nan, <laughs> wells right into the giant's face, <laughs> revealing off to a uh, now no longer invisible uh, Jonah with his hand stretched out as he elders blast the, the giant for 12 damage. Get him, big brother! And... We're taking recruits if you guys want to switch sides. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to immediately, after doing that, he is going to back away. And as he is distance. And that will do. Wow, Athena. Let's see if he can successfully yeah, yeah. put those ranger skills in motion. And that will do it for Jonah. Bring it to the top of around Larkanus. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna punch him. My fists are magic. Is that um cool for? It doesn't. They're they're not or resistant that? or onto anything. Okay. They're just big. <laughs> okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna I'm 
I want to punch him. Okay, you go ahead and punch him. God damn it. First hit misses. I just rolled like a, what is that, a 12? 12. You punch at his, uh, at his knee, and you're just, you're, you didn't, you're just, just your wrist just kind of bends a little bit, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why did I change this die? <laughs> I should have switched. All right, uh, second attack is also a miss. Yeah. So we're, we're going to go ahead and uh, fear your blows now. You go ahead and flare your blows. Okay, that that hits. That is, uh, what is that, 14 plus 7, so it hits. That hits, yeah, it's 21, so that that uh, hits. Got one hit in. Map guy, all right, I see you. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I'm just watching Rich's, like, martial arts moves down in the bottom corner here. That is a seven to hit for the first attack. Seven to hit. I um, mean, seven in damage. Oh, seven in damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, can I also stunning strike that, please? Um, <laughs> that's a natural twenty. God damn you! Oh. Right. One more attack. <laughs> that one's a twenty. Twenty hits. Can I do another? Can I get another Constitution save for that stunning strike? I think. Can you do stunning strike multiple times, or is it just the one time? I can tack it on. You can to tack it on as many attack. times as you hit, as yeah. long as you still have key points. Yeah, yeah. As long as you don't mind burning those keys, um, that's a fifteen. Damn it! Ugh. All right, fuck it. Well, damage did I do? I did. Uh... You did. You said six originally, and I don't know what about right, your yeah. second flurry of blows. Oh, the second one was a five. Okay. Alrighty, you <laughs> kick. You do a great combination, and it. And you, you're after you're done. You look up and you see the stone giant just still looking at you, still plenty more in in the tank. Damn it! Can I disengage? It's too late. All right. Brains <laughs> <laughs> uh... it over to Roxa. I'm gonna get up. Yep, half your movement. Fuck. Oh. Cool, that's just half my movement. All right, tight. Yeah, that's just half your movement to give up. To get up, you guys are still on difficult terrain. Oh shoot! But you guys, I, I mess, I forgot to mention it. I mean, you guys haven't like traversed a long, huge way, so we'll we'll Probably just might be a little farther. Than we'll just we'll just let that one be a slide. We'll just say that area was a little bit more smoother. That was my bad. I forgot to men I forgot to remind you guys that you guys are on rocky, wet, rocky terrain. So my apologies. All right, cool. I'm just gonna cure wounds on myself. You go ahead. Please you do. You guys see something amazing. You see a person who is damaged, able to use arcana abilities to heal his wounds. And I just snap, snap, oh, snap. That's right. Come back up. And I heal for 11. And you see this. You, you guys know healing magic exists, but you're in the never big... Seen it before. You're never... You're like, oh, wow. This is amazing. <laughs> like, we just hear it, like, in the background. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't lose somebody sooner. I know. Jesus Christ. That does it for your, your turn, Roxa? Yes. Uh, yeah. It is now the Stone Giant's turn. He is going to try to slam down our Larcanus for uh, 17. Yeah, that hits. Okay. One. And you take... Where are my D8s? A whole bunch of damage. That is your way. <laughs> Eight. Eleven. And for his second hit, ooh, that's even that's an unnatural twenty. And you take seven, eight, ten, twelve, twelve, eighteen. Oh, Jesus! I rolled a lot better on that one. <laughs> so you see, this giant finally get a good hit on Larkanus and just wrecks his right side, and then he comes around and slams him up against the wall. You hear this crunch of bones. Ugh. 
gonna give Saga a one level paladin dip so she can get compelled duel in situations like this. <laughs> and that will that do sucked. it for that guy's turn. And as far as the other stone giant, he's gonna turn around, and look down at Larcanus with his flaming sword and start wailing away. Asshole! Over here! <laughs> You can get give me your give me your persuasion check. Give me your persuasion check to see if you can. Fifteen. All right. He's as he's about to go and hit the guy that's been cutting at his ankles, and he's like, "Hey, as... he's gonna go attack you instead." That's a natural twenty. Okay. And three D eight. That's still all gonna be halved. Ooh, I load horrible on those. Seven, ten. I uh, love when you roll horrible on a D twenty. Yeah, that's always great. Twenty. You, not me. Yeah. So twenty six uh, damage uh, reduced. So the math for that. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, I can do that. And he's going to try to hit you again. For, uh, Don't hit me. Saga's got 69 hit points. <laughs> 15. 15 to hit? Nope. Alright. He pff, hits you. He tries to well you again. You just kind of turtle up and the armor takes the full brunt of the the hit. But you effectively Yo, got his that. attention. You are... I'm sorry. I, w I would like to see the imagery of her tiny ass getting hit with this hammer and just like... She, you see him... Like, from your look, it looks gnarly. It looks like she. It looks like she has completely been encased in this mall. You look. You think he's gonna raise up and see like a flattened piece of where you once saw her, but you just see her axe on top of her head that protected her helmet, and then the, her armor slightly dented in. But then she just stands proudly with her and in a rage, lightning coursing around her, able to take the full brunt of a giant's club. Nice. That Let's better for you. <laughs> Deep, I'm telling you guys, our Cortez got no shit on us. Let's go. And <laughs> that, I'm like on the ground. Yes. That brings it to Saga's turn. Listen, real dumb. Uh, uh, without leaving his range, I'm going to run around to the other side so mm. that I am flanking with Connor. And they're not flanking me, but we're just going to ignore that part. Um, <laughs> I'm going to attack him. Um... Twice with my sword. Sure. At advantage from flanking. Plank uh, that'll very be a 28. Much. 28 hits. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage on that first one. Sweet. Second one, natty 20. Yeah. That is payback. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love it. So, 7, 8, 15, 20 points of slashing damage. Nice. Um, and then I want the deck save from the other one this time, now that it's within 10 feet of me. That was a natural 20 on his deck save. All right, so he's going to take four points of lightning damage. All righty. He takes it. That's my turn. Oh, just yeah. slash. 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 As you just run alongside of him, slashing at his hip now. You And, and now he's, his, he's looking at Connor, looking at you, kind of. Getting a sense of like being surrounded, he's starting to really look worn for him. <laughs> and that takes it over to Connor. It's me. Let's go, baby. Um, so how's uh, how's this giant looking? He's looking pretty rough. He's looking pretty two, rough. We got two giants, right? I'm losing track of which ones are getting hit. But I you, the, like the one that you and Saga, you got you and Saga have been really putting in some damage on. The one you guys have been fighting at, but the other guy seems like he still got some, oh, well. got some life in him. No worries. I'm gonna continue ganging up on the guy that's me and Saga are whipping. Okay. Um, and we're just gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to get around behind him. Yep. And I'm gonna start smashing that that ankle some more. Go for it. By the way, um, I just realized I have a feat in here that's a blessed healer where um I also regain. Two plus the spells level uh, every time I heal. Nice. So like, so if I heal you guys, I also heal that. So that's a keep yes. keep note of that. Oh, so, so, did I I got, so did I get healed? No, I healed myself, and so it would also then heal me too as well. Just for the record, so oh, I, I heal another three. 
radical. Okay. Um, pretty much full health. Oh, <laughs> pretty much, uh, pretty much full health. <laughs> Fifteen to hit. Fifteen misses. Just bang. Just kind of careens off of his uh off of his flesh. It's like hitting a boulder. Let's see. I'm trying to decide what to do. Um, I guess I'll use. Oh wait, I get two attacks per attack. So yes, that's my first one, so I might as well swing again. That's worse, so great. Again, um, just. Are you using the advantage from flanking? No. No, please do. For flanking. So. Okay. Well, I'm well both miss. So this is your second hit. <laughs> yeah, so that would be my first. My first attack missed, and so rolling with advantage. That's a fourteen plus. Seven? I'm in there. Seven. You miss. You hit. You hit. Okay. So that's going to be a D8. That's three plus five piercing. Nice. That's eight piercing damage. Nice. That is six fire damage. Nice. You, you're you just fucking that ankle up. You just It's now red and tender and fl- like you've gotten, across, gotten past the thick hide of his flesh and it's now just just raw and you're starting to really well at it and you start seeing burn marks around him and he's on wobbly ground he's now like not really moving well you guys really fucking him up um uh, i don't want to take any risks <laughs> Let's uh, go ahead and end our turn there. Alrighty. Bring it back. Bring it over to Jonah. Jonah seen. On the veil. He is going to notice that the tide turning, and he's going to try to make a another shot at the giant you guys are messing with. Ooh, that's a hit. He's going to send another Eldritch Blast. Your way. It's a D10. Pepper Blast. <laughs> mm, that is good. Nine. Again, you see that that blight kind of blast <laughs> hit hit the one that you guys have been messing with in the face for for how much was that? Nine. Nine damage. So many keyboards. And this one's and that one as he hits him in the face, he kind of falls he falls back a little bit. <sighs> now his eyes kind of shot and like blood falling down from it. He's looking pretty wrecked. And Jonah is just gonna stay where he is. And Man, what a range on that attack. Larcanus, you are up after getting whacked hard. And awesome. So if I'm on the side of him, what which eye is jacked up? It's the right eye. Oh no, he he shot at the one that uh, Saga and. Um... Oh, is it the other one? Yeah. Oh, dang it! All right, all right. I don't have a disadvantage, huh? On the side. No, you can go. He's inactive. If you're fighting the one that you've been fighting, he's actively engaged with you. So there's no opportunity unless you kind of go around him and that breaking the game rule but not really breaking the game rule just exploiting the game rules <laughs> it's more the the accurate <laughs> assumption which yeah it says that i can, uh, can oh, strategy. strategy yes that's exactly. <laughs> it's action in combat all right uh let's see yeah i actually would like to i want to go i want to get like right here okay <laughs> get behind him go ahead and uh, we're gonna you hit can him. flank with Saga if you move one square over. Wait, Did I you guys hear that? <laughs> I want to kill this guy. You want, Are you going after the one that Saga is going after? Hey. No, I'm going after the one that um, who's been, was, that hit me. Yeah, the one who's been because Okay, good. Smart, smart move because I was going to say, huh, attack of opportunity if you get out of his range. <laughs> yeah, no, we got to do that. I'm I, I'm gonna disengage after this too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hit him with the stick. You hit him with the stick with the advantage. Uh, 
that's well that's an 18 um could i get uh, just a barely hit what a 18 stunning strike i like how you guys keep going for stunning with, strike with that, that's with 21 advantage. with with advantage Oh, with his disadvantage? He has disadvantage on... Um... You you having advantage doesn't give him disadvantage. No, that's just like you're in a uh, good... the flank. Yeah, you know, the flanking just gives you a good, a good chance to hit because he's not really ready for the hit. That just helps you hit him, but it doesn't help you with the hit. It doesn't help with the damage or the or anything else. And he rolled a 21 for uh, his con save. Okay. All right. So, uh... Sean, just so, just so that you're aware, you were technically hmm. not flanking where you are on the map to be on opposite sides to flank they're not next to each other yeah so like the idea is that he's attacking one person and then you're on the other side engage gotcha. also engaging oh after i got you i got you i got you uh, if right. you were i mean and like since you're intending to flank i'm sure that like eric will not mind this i don't um, mind go for it if you were intending to flank you would have to be right here where i'm pinging on the map so that you're across oh, from Saga. or okay, here to be saying. across from connor got it but he wasn't in, he's not engaged with any of you so it doesn't matter he is, I mean, connor and i are both in melee with him so it yeah he's distracted he's he's essentially because okay. there's opponents around him that he's aware of so it's it is the the correct way of playing the game it is it is excellent strategy <laughs> it is excellent strategy to give yourself advantage and you're okay. not as tiny as bit salty as not at all yeah. No, not okay, at all. I mean, like, <laughs> honestly, if if I had a originally just moved from where I was because I was like at that wall, I would have been there anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So but, like it's um, within your reach. That was just like a game correction thing because I don't think you'd learned it yet. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I, I guess that yeah. it makes sense. And I'm horrible that explaining really things. I I'm just really bad at explaining rules. Okay. So, so thank you so much again, Ellen. You have been the <laughs> a dramatic I help. <laughs> I never rolled damage for that attack. There's rules lawyers, and then there's rules public defenders, you know? There's... <laughs> Yo, that's, that is a... That's good. That's a good... That's a, that's a good difference. I like that. That's real. I rolled a nine for that attack that hit. Okay. That just barely hit. That just barely hits? Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and do I... I still have another attack, right? Did that motion actually count? No, no. Your movement doesn't count. Movement's separate. Okay. So. Cool, cool, cool. So, second attack. Let's do this. That is a 19 to hit. 19 hits. And do, 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 do. What is he looking like right now? He looks fine. <laughs> looks fine. He looks like he's <laughs> a little banged up, but not by too much. That's a uh, 7. Seven damage on that second one. Alrighty. And you, the reason why I'm trying to uh, stun him is because I want to, I want to, I want to hit him with my acid breath. And that's yeah. why I keep trying to stun him because the only way that I can actually hit him with it is if I stun him. Otherwise, he'll avoid it. Um, he is so now I'm... starting to look rough. Nice. Um, let's. Damn. 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 Let's. Okay, we got a healer. I'm gonna. We're gonna. Uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good. You keep up with that. You keep up with that. We got healers. It's time to die. Yes. Hey, don't worry. It won't take me ten days to find your body. Right. I'm like right here, so you know. Uh... Weird. No, I haven't. I haven't been doing amazing damage, so I really don't want to do that. I, I, I really want to hit him again, though. You're a monk. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna do a uh, furious blows. Go ahead and give me. I'm gonna use that freaking. Hit him with a right hook. Hit him with a jab. Hit, hit him with an uppercut. Kick right. his ass. That's right. Cross so uppercut. Hook. <laughs> so uh, my first attack misses for furious blows. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna. I'm going to waste another point to disengage. Okay. <laughs> do you have to waste a point? Is that a bonus action for you to just disengage? I can do it. I have, um, what is this thing? Because you haven't used a bonus action. Have you used a bonus action? Yeah, he has. Uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, flurry of blows is a bonus Yeah, the flurry of blows is his bonus Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, never mind. And I'm... He's using his I'm built different feet to disengage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm built different. 
No, you're not, uh, actually. No, you're I thought I had to think. Oh, step of the wind. I can spend one Kai point to uh, disengage. Oh, Pretty it sure is a bonus a... action. You're right. It yeah. is right. Never mind. Okay. Oh. So, yep, I am there now. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, wait. I do have one more. I do have one more attack, though, with Fury Blows. Yes. Let's go. Two. That one is a 26 to hit. 26 hits. Oh, baby. And that is six, seven, that's a nine for damage. Nine. Okay. So as you were just willing, punching this stone, like every punch, not really finding, you're not really getting a good hit in. You're hurting your hand more. And you're just like, fuck it. And you just do a massive roundhouse kick right at him. And that finally, like, moves his knee a little bit. And you, you feel some... Some phew, you get a good whack and finally peering through that natural defense of his. Yes. Bring it get over. Him, Marconis. Bring it over to Roxa. Please heal me. <laughs> <laughs> I fear what will happen if you don't. <laughs> Did you just take hella damage? Um. Uh, I mean, I'm at 34. That's like damn near half my. <laughs> you are. All right. 25 feet away, but you have half movement. But you can probably make it because you can hop. All right. Um, I'm going to use Bless on everybody real quick. So um, whenever a target uh, makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll or saving throw. So I just rolled it. So for all of you, you can each add a 4 to your next uh, attack or save. Nice. Look at that. Look at that support. Wow. I love that. Look, look how that changes the dynamic of how fights go. Even when someone's really banged up, you're still... Still helping out. Still helping and out. And then uh, for a bonus okay. action, I'm going to shoot another spiritual weapon. Go for it. And uh, it's going to be... Um, I was looking it up while we were uh, blah blahing. I, my um, god's <laughs> weapon is more of a scythe. So a giant scythe is going to come out because it's more for crops. Mm-hmm. Um, See the spectral scythe come out. And the twenty one to hit. Twenty one hits. Hell yeah. Which one you're going for? I'm gonna go for the uh one that is already pretty banged up. Okay. Cool. Try to uh, get rid of it. <laughs> smart, smart, smart. Go ahead and roll that damage. Nine damage. Nine. It is. Oh, you slash around. And it's like it seemed like you hit an artery, and just massive blood just sprays out, covering Saga and Connor in this thick, wet ichor of blood. As he's starting to buck over, he is extremely fucked up. Oh wait, hold up. Um, I hate this island. <laughs> uh, Divine Strike. Hey. Whenever I hit a creature with a web attack, you can cause the attack to deal an extra 1d8 radiant damage. Let me see that. Cool. Let me see it. Extra four. How do you want to do it? Uh, I want it to, the slice is just, uh, the scythe to come down in sort of like a slice, and then it's just going to anime style, then split. Okay. Give me a, um, dexterity saving throw saga. Oh. Add the four! Nat 20! Nat 20. Don't the, add the four. It's just this massive <laughs> hump log, half of a body of a giant about to fall on you. You just whoo, jump off to the side and you see this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. It's going down on yelling timber. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you better move. Hey, yo, timber and giant. Why well, move? And as you do that, Brings it over to the next stone giant. Seeing his comrade die, and the first person closest to it is Saga. And he's going to attempt to slam down on Saga. That is um, 17 to hit. Yeah. Alrighty. My D8s. It's okay, you have a healer now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also resistant to all this. 18. Great. So he's going to hit again for... That's, well, that's not as good. That's 15 to hit. 
All righty. It's... <laughs> and you you dodge over the second one. You take the first hit pretty smoothly. Your rage, you're able to just cushion it and uh, roll it right off of you. Now it is your turn. Nice. We're going to hit this. It's the one I'm flanking with, right? That's the one that's still yes. alive? Yes. Awesome. We're just, we're just going to hit him with the axe. Good thing for advantage. Uh, that's going to be a 23 to hit. 23 hits. For nine points of slashing damage. Nice. Then second attack. It's going to be a 25 to hit. <laughs> hits. For another nine points of slashing damage. <sighs> Breathing heavy. Wounds are starting to bleed a little bit. He's definitely. Zap him. Yeah, he he's fucked up. He's starting to. All right. Can I get a deck save? Yes, of course. Ooh. That's um sixteen. Uh, let me double check the DC on that. It's been a hot second. Aren't you allowed to add that D four to it? DC's 14. Yeah. Uh, so he'll take half damage, which is going to be four. Four. Okay. And lightning courses through it, just stinging him. But as it's giving way more of a violent reaction as he's now really feeling the pain. You guys have thoroughly, you know, you got these guys' number. That does it for his turn, for your turn. Brings it down to Connor. Connor, going to do the same thing. Gonna slap this fool. Go for Good. it. <laughs> slap him. Slap him with a sh. With nothing, apparently. Uh, <laughs> nine plus seven. Sixteen to hit. Sixteen misses. Well, that sucks. Well, I can swing. As he's already. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. As he's like oh, in wait, pain and kind of already falling back over, he just falls over, falls back, taking a step, of just not knowing that he's missing your strikes, that you're missing your strikes. As he's just kind of moving around this group of people surrounding him. That's twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two. Mm-hmm. That hits. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, the eight damage piercing. That's uh, three plus five, is eight piercing damage. Piercing. All right. And then 10 fire damage. Ooh, really good. Thanks. And that really has wrecked him. And uh, uh, on one knee with his club. And does that do it for your turn? Yes. All righty. Let me see if... As... Let me... uh, Oh, that's actually not too bad. So, as he's uh, uh, roll, tries to raise up his hand to try to slam at you again, an Eldritch Blast wells him in the in the, in the other shoulder, taking seven uh, damage, which really got him fucked up. Now, bringing it back over to the top of the round, Larkanus. E. Finish him off. Um. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna punch him. You punch we're him. Punch his, we're gonna punch his butt. Nope, nobody got that. Punch okay. your That's buns. Like eight, eight, punch <laughs> your <laughs> buns. Punch your butt. Sorry, don't get that reference, but I imagine it's, uh, I imagine it's. Home movies. I, I was making a home movie reference. And oh. He made an Adventure Time reference, but I'm cool with that. But actually, yeah. that worked out pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <that's> <laughs> There's so many versions of nerds on this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, now I gotta send a link to the chat. Bunch of you buns. I'm a buff baby. I could dance like a man. Okay, um, eighteen to <laughs> eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. Just barely hits. I look, barely is good enough. That is an eight for damage. How do you want to do this? Ooh, yes. I'm punching him. I'm gonna punch him. Wait, how? how what can I reach? Ooh, 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 I wanna jump and do. A uh, spinning uppercut like I'm fucking Ryu from Street Fighter. <laughs> I wanna get, I wanna, 
I, I take one step up and I just like, ah! I say, Good. You get in giant and just <laughs> uppercut his ass. <laughs> in giant, he's a Japanese word. A Japanese word in giant. <laughs> you guys don't understand the term that he says. It just sounds giantish, and boom! And as he clocks him, his neck snaps back, falls over, dead. And that and slowly. That ends combat. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna see hold guys, up see my... guys. If you guys said you, <laughs> you guys said you couldn't do this. I'm gonna take advantage of the light of my sword to look around before uh, we go back into stealth. Sure. Go yeah. ahead and give me that perception. Uh, we Devil's got a. Yeah, I'm gonna search 17. that. Seventeen. Seventeen. Pile of meat. Uh, okay, you gonna search the pile of meat? Yeah, I feel like there's, you know, in like yeah, Fallout, there's always yeah. there's always gear in there, but there's stuff in there. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a Persepi to uh, investigate. See me, if, uh, if you guys are, if you guys, if you guys are just looking around the general area, it's perception. If you're looking at specifically the pile of meat, it's investigation. Yeah, I was, I want to look around for evidence right. of uh, my. So group. just to clarify what I'm doing, yeah. I am just trying to make sure that we're safe. Okay, so perception right. for you. Did the same, yes. and I only got a 13. 13. 17. 17. Um, natural 20. Natural 20. Well, Roxa, yeah. you found your party. Oh, damn. I, um, I see, like, a, a like an, uh, like an arm with no hand, and I, <laughs> I think I found them, guys. <laughs> Is the, does the hand still have the ring on it? No, I have the ring on it. Okay. Balls, man. I'm sorry, Roxa. I dropped to my knees. I was supposed to be their healer. Well, well, you're our healer now. So, and we lived. So, look at that. Redemption, instant, instant redemption. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just kind of like starting my comments, like, oh no, they did not each. Emotional intelligence at the monastery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you is is there anything you want us to do with the bodies? Give them, a, I mean, take them out with us. Give them a burial. I think taking their bodies now would just hold us down and ultimately make it worse for the world. Okay. I. Uh, I think it's better if I don't want their bodies just to be eaten, you know? Jonah walks up. If there's anything you guys want to scavenge out of them with respect, you can take it now. And I can handle the burial. Thank I hate you. to ask, but did any of them have a magic sword or a magic axe? <laughs> You can do a history check, and you can do an investigation. Great. Uh, Nat 20 on the investigation you check. You are so Hell desperate yeah. to find something, just any type of little something to give you an edge a in these battles weapon. as everyone around you has, like, you're, you're kind of like, fucking Lurkanus has a wand, like, can, has a sensor and he has a sword of flames, and you look around, you see a, a few broken crossbows, uh, long swords. You don't see anything magical. Saga needs, like, a. I, I went to the Low Mare games, and all I got was this cursed axe t shirt. <laughs> Yo, you need to get that. You need to get that shirt made. Ew. I will. Now, if I, if I bless this cursed axe, like, if I spend, like, a whole long rest um you can give me you can give me arcana check as you see her complaining as she's rummaging through your dead friend's bodies no very <laughs> i'm very respectful but i'm really i also 14. asked for permission first yes, of in course. character i did not get a response okay <laughs> I, I said go ahead just with respect 
of course. And I'm being very respectful, and I'm yeah. not complaining at all. Okay, this is just uh, in our... 14. <laughs> As I see, like, a cursed axe, sort of. Did you have it on you? Yeah, uh, no. No. It's on the ship, but I will kind of mention I. You've been talking I about hate it, to though. Do the... Yeah, I mentioned it. I found an I axe, a... but it was cursed. This one's not magical. I got, like, a 14. 14. You know of the spell Remove Curse. Hmm. But... And that's that the would way. just make it a regular axe. Death makes it a regular mm. axe. <laughs> Not one of those. <laughs> we'll find you something. Oh, it's all right. On that note, um, as the, um, like again, what well, you guys, you got, if you're searching, you have come across about forty gold amongst the bodies, and uh, ten silver. Uh, so you guys can divvy that up any way you want. Everything else is just very common weapons. And crossbows that are broken. Um, Jonah takes a few crossbow bolts that are still salvageable. But other than that. I um, I take like, because uh, they each had their own weapons, yes. you know. So I take one of each of their weapons just to, in a bundle for my bag of holding. I'm never going to use them. It's just to give back to their families. Okay. So you you come across um you, you come across a hand axe, a long sword, um a crossbow that is still re reasonably functional and a dagger. All right, cool. Yeah, so yeah, none of those are ever going to be touched. They're just going to be like in the bag. Okay. As the as that was done, you see Jonah kind of Put the bodies all together, kind of like a little, put makes a little enclosure, kind of allows, takes moves some rocks so, so they can kind of all go into like this small little makeshift burial. And he moves his hands around and he casts Create Bonfire, setting the bodies aflame. As he does it, I'll cast Sacred Flame as well to just sort of enchant it. Mm -hmm. And just for flavor, he holds his head down. You see Jonah kind of muttering to himself. And Connor also bows in respect. And we will take uh guys ten minute break or five? Ten it. Ten minute break. I'll see you guys back Thanks. at twelve fifteen. <laughs> see you Hi. soon. See you guys soon. Are we...
Hey guys. Mm-hmm. How you doing? Hey. We're back. Oh. We're Everyone's back. back. They got their lunch. It seems like a cereal day. It makes me want my raisin brown. <laughs> I'm old. But raisin, raisin brown. brown. No, you're not raisin. old until you're like I fuck with grape nuts. <laughs> fuck. Like I I'm... mean, how am I supposed to be the white girl from New England on the stream if I'm not eating granola? That's 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 a that's, that's a, if it's if it's in my uh, in my true East Vegas style, this is a Tupperware. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tupperware. That is how we roll. It's effective. Are those Reese's Puffs? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, my that God. Is a, that is a superior uh, out of out of cereals go. Yes. That is definitely a superior yes. one. Now, last we left our Peanut party, you guys are flavor. seeing the burning bodies of the the uh, the first team that was sent to the uh to the island of giants and um that sounded more violent and less reverent than i think we intended yeah <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys okay. like to do um well let's journey forth and do the job they couldn't all righty as you guys um adventure forth uh, give me an order of movement can we heal? Can we heal up? Are we being we sneaky moving? again? You guys want to take a short rest? Larkanis, my friend, do you need some heals? We can say that the That's process it. of the since all you guys stood there and you washed the bodies, you you know, we can count this whole section as a short wet uh, as a short west. <laughs> my son, short, <laughs> short west. West. <laughs> short west. west. All right, Larkanis, I will heal you for eight. Heels. Well, in that case, I'm gonna roll some hit die. Yeah. Eight. So I get an eight for you. Oh no, no, dang it. <laughs> that gave me another three. What's the rule for this D8 thing again? Because this is like my second time doing this. Short rest. Uh, if you're, let's just say, let me see. Let me look at your character sheet. Is one d8, I guess, one time. No, you should have, you have one, one hit die per level. We have 10 hit die at this level. All of yours are um, d8s because all your levels are monk levels. Huh. Every time you roll one, you do that roll plus your constitution modifier, and you regain that amount of health. And you can roll up to 10, but you can also roll less than 10 so that, mm-hmm. like, if we don't get a long rest anytime soon, we can yeah. do this again. Yeah, okay, cool, but cool, you can cool. only use it 10 times before you have a long rest. It sucks because my constitution is a negative one, so <laughs> everything I roll has a negative one. Jesus, I can't Ouch. believe you don't never dump con. No. Everything else depends okay. on your class. It's okay. It was, it was dumped, worse before. I dumped charisma. I would argue that Dex is also a bad dump stat because of armor. Yeah. And because of the fact that Dex saves are so common. Mm-hmm. I also think that there should be an option to base your AC on con rather than on dex. That's a, that's a, that's a good argument. That's yeah. You know, it's like man, like as sometimes a, you're not dodging stuff. Sometimes you're just like taking a hit, and it's fine because you're that tough. Yeah. Well, we uh, yeah. I never understood why it was uh, um, why it was dex for armor. Yeah, I got nothing for you. <laughs> yeah, like you're a wizard, you're yeah. casting mage armor. Why does dexterity have anything to do with this process? Right. It's, it's not like an acrobatics thing, you know. Like it's like it's literally like it's not like your actual functional armor. It's just like how how like able you are to dodge out of the way of an attack. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's like something else entirely, you know. Right. That feels like it should be a reaction, but. Yeah, that, that feels more in, like it's prone for like walking speed or reactions, you know? Like, so are we guys? And it, also, it makes it harder to dump decks. So guys, are I we all good on your short dumpable. rest? Yeah, short sure. rest. All right. So, guys, venture four. Give me an order of movement. Um, I'll uh, recast. Uh, I'm gonna cast light on my shield and just walk in front of everyone so they can just see what's coming from the front. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to. Uh... I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna turn off my uh, 
my sword, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna follow uh, closely behind. I'm gonna try and stay behind Saga since I know she can see in the dark. Okay. Jonah's gonna walk next to Saga. So, so luckily the pathways are pretty wide, as giants seem to be giants seem to be traversing these. So, pretty large areas. Um, are you guys? How are we moving? Stealthy. Trying to be I mean, stealthy, but I like can't. Armor. I'm gonna. Um, I I think you guys should have about a five to ten foot breath from me, and I will walk. Cause I'm not gonna be stealth with a lit up shield. You know. And so I'll just walk in front, and you guys can just cover me from behind as I like scout forward, basically. This is not a stealth party. Like that's yeah. Yeah. Saga You're will stay here. up front with you. She claims. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna bother trying to stealth. Connor's gonna go stealthily and follow along. Yeah. I'm gonna try to be stealth. Sheesh. All right. Um, <laughs> the natural one. There goes the stealth. stealth no. Jonah's just gonna look at how everyone moves. He's like, okay, so I'm just gonna walk with you guys right because some people are stealth and some people aren't yeah <laughs> so you know me since we were kids how when have i ever been stealthy bro no i think we should just walk ready for anything yeah so high perception but no stealth okay yeah. yes. hey, that's how I built my there character. we go these are different roles <laughs> i'm glad we got there it only took 14 sessions for you guys to t- figure out that this, that you guys just don't passive. you're not you're not a stealth true Okay. My passive perception is a 17. So okay, these are good. So on. as you guys are moving along, you guys coming down other slopes, and then the whole, these dark caverns start to open up into a massive area of a ruined city. And you guys, uh, give me uh, some perception checks. Ooh, hell yeah. I don't think I've switched that 20. Wow, good, oh, good job, Saga. That's a nat one for a total of six. Hey, uh, let's give my roll a beer because I got a 21. Nice. <laughs> Jonah did pretty good. He did pretty good and he has his dark vision. And you guys look out. You see you're at a top ledge. So you, it's like a little, you're about 30 feet what above you your this, these ruins. And um, off to the distance, like kind of like the far northwest, uh, northeast corner, you see something move. It's a distance away. And. It's a good distance away, but the sheer size of it gives you pause as you just see like almost a part of the mo- of the wall is moving into this tunnel, and then you realize that's not the wall; that's a creature. As you see the f- end of the tail go inside, it's about it's a distance away, but the fact that you were able to make out this massive movement is disturbing. You, you guys. Um, it's, it's still pretty dark, but there's little luminescence around these little mushrooms that seem to create some type of um, bright blue luminescence are slowly scattered around these ruins. So you, you're able to see a little bit, but it's dim light at best. In the in the best areas, is dim light. Can I, um, uh, I have like a, I have like an empty jar. Can I bottle some of these mushrooms? Sure. Sure. Go ahead and give me a nature check. Do I know what these mushrooms are? You can 19. give me a um, you can give me a nature check with a with your uh, proficiency. You can give me a proficiency check because these are herbs and things that you should know. But do you know them? I, sh- I should. Do you know? I just rolled a twelve. <laughs> you rolled a twelve. You do. Okay. Uh, you do have knowledge of these type of luminescent mushrooms. Okay. They're called nice. called moonlight. Would like to take some as well. Yep. Yeah. Um, go ahead, give me a nature check. What you get? Uh, what? What did uh, got, uh what did uh, Roxa get? I got a nineteen. Uh, nineteen. So roll um, roll d twenty. Roll another d twenty, and that's how many mushrooms you gathered. Right here. Uh, seven. Seven. That was cool. really going to give you more. I was going. I was trying to give know, you more, right? buddy. <laughs> Gave him a d twenty. Okay. What did you roll? Uh, I just wrote a 17. 17, again. Roll another d20. Okay. Oh my god, a 7. Wow. <laughs> 7! I was. Uh-huh. I don't know why I try to give you things, but... 
<laughs> the dice wants what the dice wants. All yeah. right. So dice you got, but, you know, plenty. You fill up the whole jar. Fill up the whole jar, and it creates a good amount of uh, light, about 10 feet of, uh, of dim light you can come from this. You're, obviously, your light spell is way more sufficient. Yeah. But you have so something that can carry around with you. Um, I hand one back to everyone else so that, like, uh, you know, yeah, someone has, like, a lantern, you know? All righty. Like, so to the people who have who don't have dark vision, you have yeah. – you do have – like, if, if the item is r relatively close, you will not have disadvantage <laughs> on your perception. You do see, as you guys are gathering up, you do see a ruined temple. And off to the side, it's one of the bigger structures. There still seems to be some level of uh, architect over it. It's a little distance away. And Jonah's like, well, that looks like can a I good spot to can start. I, can I do like a, um, want me to do like a religion check on this temple or like a history? You just have to get closer and yes, you can. Yeah. Yes, I would like to do that. Okay, give me a religion check. Sixteen. Sixteen. Sorry, hold on. There you are. Ah. I was just gathering my notes. Oh, we were looking for dice. I'm rolling in a jewelry box today because who knows where my dice tray went when I packed. I have switched up from tray to um, non-stick pad. Hmm. Cool. Nice. I, I, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Safe. So as you approach the temple and you look around it, you s immediately see some markings. Do you speak Infernal? Do you read Infernal? <laughs> no, I have Common, Elvish, Goblin, and Orc. Okay. So you come across everything. You start. You immediately notice that a lot of the scriptures are written in Elvi uh, in um, Infernal and in Jonah. And I can speak Pooh Bear as well. Oh, good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah looks over it as a saga, and um, some of the spots seem very clear. A temple of Talona. Um, but y you see further inside, you look inside uh, these remnants, and the, um, the architecture feels familiar to you, um, Roxa. It, it se the outside seems like a, a temple to Talona, but the inside... Um, has you need has like there's there's potted plants around um seems like there's the ruins of a makeshift garden that's along the edges and it, it kind of opens up as you guys walk into it it opens out into a little kind of like a, again a little five feet of water that circles around into the actual altar in the center and you guys see what glowing from this in from this wide space is these bags of residuum that shine in the light and the altar to Shantea in the center and you just hear a voice in your head Roxa who do you serve the one the only Shantea what do you seek? Peace in the downfall of Alicorte. You hear the rumbling again off in the distance of this large creature moving, seemingly aw the sound going away. And but can you achieve your goal alone no can you Together achieve with these people maybe can you achieve your goal and now you don't only hear this everyone you all hear inside your head the voice of a oh like the a little bit more elderly mature can you defeat our Corte. Roxa, have faith. I do not sense faith in you. I have faith in two things, and it's Shantea and this group of fighters that I've made it through with. A cleric 
and lost souls. And appearing in this bright light in the center, you see a tall man, bare skin for a helm with a massive great axe that it just gets brighter and brighter. He looks translucent as if you can't, he's not fully there. But and as the light just kind of shines bright, you seem like he starts to take form into this large, towering man with a great axe. And he's, as he twists, you hear thunder ro axe. roaring. Saga, you notice his belt is exactly the same kind of belt. The champion Sinjo of a Lomer, very similar to the belt that you have that was given to you by Shaza and similar to Shaza's belt. And he kind of looks down at you guys as he walks towards you, able to step along the water. Lost souls. I, I kneel. He lays his axe down. He kind of bows in respect to you. My friend, Tisona is lost. Z Zulu is struggled. My other friends are gone. Our Kote is stronger by the day. You cannot win without faith or conviction. He passes by you and looks over at Saga. He kneels down, looks you in the eyes. Daughter of Lomer, you need faith. Struggle will only weigh you down. And he gets up and walks over to Larcanus. He looks you in the eye. So much shame. So much regret. You are not the definition of your monastery. But if you cannot redeem them, they are lost. And he walks over to Connor. He looks over. What is life without purpose? You want not. You dream of not. You desire not. Are you here to save people? Or do you just not have anything better to do? And he walks away. He kneels down to Roxa. Looks you in the eyes. Faith will take you many places. Friends will keep you strong. Find a purpose for yourself beyond this. You can win if you can come together as a true team like my friends did. Show me your strength. And then he twists his axe and thunder roars again as he kind of levitates up into the ground. <laughs> Show me your strength. And we'll pick it up there. Oh, an honor oh. battle. Oh, I love these. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm oh, so cool. excited. <laughs> <laughs> then that's where okay. we'll pick up. The next week, the battle with the spirit of Hannibal and the testing ground on if they are fit to fight our Corte. As always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and wherever you're watching it on Twitch or on the YouTube. Uh, make sure you uh, check out my sponsor, StarPlaying.Games. This is where I um, you can find me listed as on one of the DMs. You can... Uh, um, also, uh, follow my podcast called Tell Me a Story, where I have um, a good amount of these guys who have been on the podcast and check out um, their unique stories and their um, 
their different the different things that have happened in their lives that gave them meaning. And um, as always, this Twitch is uh, every Monday, it's 10 a.m. to 2 sometimes. <laughs> but uh, we always come out with contact. We haven't missed a we missed one week, so you got got plenty of contact to enjoy. And I'm gonna move it over to Ellen. Please tell them where they can find you. You can find me at Chaotic Good Ellen on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I will be getting back to making content this week, having just moved into a new space that's a little more conducive to it. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. Stop in and say hi. Bring it on down to Sean. Yeah, I uh, I go by Kenobi Homie. I stream often on Twitch. I actually just put a schedule up, so please check me out there. And I also do a little bit on TikTok as well. Uh, so yeah, check me out. Bring it on down to Rich. All right. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Rich Neasy. Uh, you can also listen to my podcast, Development Hell, where we uh, go over uh, movies that had a rough time getting made. Uh, right now we're doing what we call Go Fast Month, where uh, we just put out uh, the an uh, one on the anime Red Line and then another one on uh, the Wachowski Speed Racer. Uh, so we got a lot of interesting stuff going for these uh, sort of things. We have theme months going. Uh, it's a really fun podcast. We'd love you guys to check it out. Right on, and then uh, ran on home, Ted. Yo, I'm Lucky Bear, uh, Lucky underscore Bear on Twitch. You can find me at that Lucky Bear on literally other social media platform you can find. And I do live streams on Wednesdays and Thursdays. We're doing variety. Right now we're playing through some old school Mario RPG games. So it's super, super fun. Ooh. And uh, we're doing this really fun challenge where if I swear 100 times, I will have to cosplay Kagome. And I'm now two streams deep with zero swears on the board because I'm a good Christian wow. man. <laughs> sure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Lord. <laughs> so I guess I, I got to hop on your uh, stream and try to get you to break, Oop. get you get get those walls oh. down and just so we can just start chatting. Good luck, brother. I'm iron. I am <laughs> ironclad. Challenge. Uh. Except, <laughs> yep, we gotta go. We gotta go to the stream now. And, yeah, and guys, you gotta you gotta make this happen, mm -hmm. guys. You gotta make this man ha happen. If we work together, this can be a great make Halloween. This happen. Mm -hmm. It's lucky versus right. the world. <laughs> guys, that's that's our. I'd love uh, to play your game. That's our uh, stream. <laughs> that thank you guys so much for enjoying another episode of the Lomare Games. I'm Bell Comedy. Thank y'all, and see you next week. Mm -hmm. Rose follow. Bye, everybody. Please follow. That's always good. <laughs> Please follow the page. <laughs>